you know, I want, I want you to really start becoming heaven minded, conscious, just like that heaven minded, conscious, a consciousness of heaven. Because if you notice on earth, there is so much evil in people. People are not nice, they are not good, and they are not trustworthy. I'm saying like even, you deal with customer service, you deal with other arenas of life. Men are sorrowful experience in this state of soul that they're in because they don't know the Holy Spirit and they don't have any subjection to the Holy Spirit. Look forward to eternal life. Everything that you're doing today, start looking forward to eternal life. Everything you say, every act you do, every deed you sow. And I'm going to tell you like this here. And this is so profound. Remember this statement that I'm telling you. The Holy Spirit will have you be nice to people that are on their way to hell. But there is a special time in everybody's life where you get to be nice to the God that you're going to live with in all eternity. And you say how? You're a man of God. When you get a chance to bless and love on your man of God, you are now taking those qualities. It's no longer like, hey, I, I got to avoid uh, this person getting on my nerves and irritating me and, and trying to fight me and trying to destroy me. Now you're dealing with God. And you get to sow those seeds of love into someone that is love. I want you to remember this. You'll have times where the Spirit of God will tell you to love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. Are you seeing this? Pray for those that despitefully use you. But when you get to your man of God, God operating as a man, now you get to show love to God. You get to treat God with respect. You get to show God assistance. You get to show the Lord patience. You get to show the Lord pleasure. You get to show the Lord trust. You get to show the Lord loyalty. Remember this every single day. You want to start making preparations for heaven. I want to point this out to you that the Holy Spirit lets you experience bad things on earth. He lets you see the quality of people on earth. It's for you to understand that heaven is a graduation. It is a reward. It is a promotion from this life because this life really is flawed. Why? Because we have people listening to the devil. We have people following their flesh. We have people enjoying the the sport of doing evil in heaven everybody will be pure there'll be one love one spirit one god one theme which is unselfishness which is helpfulness which is kindness look forward to heaven and everything that you're doing today start recognizing i'm doing this as unto the lord and there's a reward that I'm receiving as a result of it. Everything that I'm doing, I will be granted an incentive for all eternity. When you sowing seeds here on earth into the gospel, when you are walking in self-control, consistency, surrender, you are placing yourself in a position where you will receive a reward for each and everything that you're doing in eternity. Angels are building onto people's mansions with every act of obedience they do on earth. Angels are building on to people's mansions with every act of surrender. You know, um, lastly, I want to say this. God left his family several times for you. So when he calls you to leave your family, you're not doing something that's first-hand knowledge. He did it several times for you. Let me show you. The Bible says in Job chapter 1, Job chapter 2, remember, is the sons of God appearing before God. God disconnected from his own sons. Hilagi nis te vele no vonos. 
offering Rampri and Delivris Salahazo. He disconnected from his own sons so that salvation will come to you. In the angelic, those were his children. He left them for you. Then let's go even further. The gospels, Jesus preaching. Your mother is outside. Who is my mother? Who is my brother? But those that do the will of the father. Jesus left his family for you. God left his family several times for you. So when he called you to leave your family, stop acting like you're doing something that's just, oh, uh, uh, th this is so hard to do. No, no, no. If you love somebody, don't sell them short of their level of sacrifice. Give them the same level of sacrifice that they gave you. Give them that same energy. This is profound what I'm telling you, by the way. Every act of obedience you do, you're adding on to eternal life. Bible says, if you love mother and father more than me, you're not worthy of me. You love son and daughter more than me, you're not worthy of me. The ironic thing about mankind is that you come into this earth, you have children, you make your children your God. You make parents your God. You make everything your God except the Lord. And so then you have problems with the Lord because the Lord's saying, no, I am the Lord thy God. I'm the only one that you love with all your heart, all your strength, all your might. And so if you want to never stumble, return to your first love. And when you return to your first love, you'll always be first place.